Hi guys, Andy here from Billy's Hammock Camping. So, um, yeah, hammock set up, take two. Um, hopefully this time the camera is fully charged and I should have enough um, enough time and battery power to do um, to do a full a full setup. Um, I've put my hammock and um, under blanket up, but I'm not going to bother with the tarp um, at the moment. So. Um, what I'll do is I'll take you off the tripod and uh, I'll run through um, the setup with you. So uh, give me a second and uh, I'll be back with you. Okay guys, we'll start off here. And as you can see, I've got my webbing strap, which runs down to my climbing gate grade carabiner. Then onto my whoopee sling, down to my hammock. Um, like I've said before, my hammock is a tenth wonder. Um, it's 2.8 by 1.8 meters, um, and the extra, the extra fabric here is what gives it its, its width. Now, what I've done to it, let me go around to the other side. What I've done to it here is sew a bit of webbing on it with uh, some elastic in it so I can pull this bit tight where my head is um, because I was finding that uh, when I was lining it on the diagonal my head was actually um, was actually sagging a bit so this this bit enables me to it, it pulls the side in tight a bit tighter so I can um, so my head doesn't sag but I'll show you that um, in a in a moment and typically it's starting to snow so I'll have to do this a bit quicker than uh, than I had anticipated okay here's me under blanket I've fastened for this for this setup I've fastened um, the elastics to the to the, the carabiner usually it would be clipped onto the ridge line of my tarp here I've put, um, it's like tent guy line bit and that enables me to adjust it to pull it up tight. And uh, as you can see now the snow is coming, starting to come down. But hey ho, we'll carry on. Um, one one thing on on uh, when when the hammock when the under blanket comes to you um, when you've when you've just bought it it comes like this with the four elastic loops uh, four webbing loops that you can attach your elastic to to pull it to pull it tight. Well, the modification I made because I, I found because I lie in this um, on a diagonal up this top end. I was finding that um, I was getting a bit of a draft and um, ended up with like a chilly spot in the like early hours of the morning. So what I've done is I've just pick, unpicked the stitching in three places, fed in some elastic and tied a knot, and then in the centre I've just pulled it out and put a, a cord lock on it so that it it'll hug it up um, tight against the hammock when I'm in it and hopefully I'll be able to I'll, I'll be able to show you that when I when I uh, when I get in it <coughs> absolutely fantastic under blanket it really is um, it keeps you really nice and warm underneath but what I'll do now is I'll put you back on the tripod and I'll just quickly get in it so you can see um, how, I, how I lie in mine so stay with me guys Hey guys, right, I'll just put my remote in there. Let's get my boot off. Should have brought my slippers. I'm in Ken feet now. So, well, here I am, I'm in my hammock, and basically I lie on a diagonal like this. So this bit is kind of where my head is, and it keeps my head up. 
So once you're in, it's just a case of adjusting. Adjusting it till it fits you. Until you're in right. There we go. And that's all up there like that. So that's uh, that's me in the hammock. I can already feel a bit of warmth actually from um, from the under blanket. And then you've got these bits here to uh, to tighten it up a bit more. But yeah, this is my humble abode for the evening. The ridge line's a little bit tighter than uh, what I'd normally have it, but you can't have everything. Right, I'll just um, move the camera so you can see this bit up here. So, bear with me guys. Right, move the camera. Get back in. Now, hopefully, you'll be able to see here how it fits better on the actual hammock. That's it. Do it a bit better. That's better. See how here now it's it's like um, cuddling, <laughs> cuddling the hammock. So. Uh, I found that uh, after the first time I'd used it after I'd done this modification, um, I found it. Uh, I, I, I didn't wake up in the middle of the night with any cold spots or anything like that. So it looks as though it has um, it has worked and done what I'd intended it to uh, to do. But that's basically my hammock setup. Um, what I'll do is I'll take you off the tripod again and then get back in the hammock and show you my uh, how I lie. So stick with me guys. Okay, hope you don't suffer from seasickness. Thankfully I don't. Right, I'm in my hammock now and I'm lying dead straight with the, with the ridge line. Now I don't find that particularly very comfy so what I do I tend to pull that bit up and where the, the light green meets the dark green I put my feet so I can see it's still in the in the um, within the hammock and then and then this end Is the is the bit with the tight with the the elastic in it, which creates like a pocket. So now I'm lying reasonably flat, which is great. And if I just turn you around now, there's my feet. That's where it what they were. So you can see, I'm on fair quite a big diagonal and there's the ridge line again that is a little bit tighter than what I'd usually have it but it's okay for this and as I said you've got these bits here these toggles at cord locks that you can adjust your your under blanket and your under blanket really wants to be so that it's not not quite touching um, the bottom of the hammock, but a little bit of a gap. But I suppose actually you could because um, if you do have it touching, it crushes the insulation and it'll lead to like um, cold spots. Thankfully, it stops snowing there. 
so I don't need to rush as much as um, I, uh, I thought I was going to have to but this is basically my hammock setup like I say the the shock cord there for the um, for the under blanket would usually be on my um, on the ridge line of my tarp in one of the in one of the attachment loops um, that way it's under the tarp and it's not going to like there if, if that carabiner was outside of the um, was outside of the tarp then uh, can you see that let's see that will zoom in a bit that carabiner there if that was outside the tarp then um, the the water could wick down the elastic shock cord and into your hammock under blanket. Well, anyway, that's my hammock setup. It's a great hammock. I've also got a DD uh, DD hammocks front line hammock. Um, I'll do a, I'll do a review on that um, another time, or a show and tell, shall we call it, rather than a review. Um, but no, this 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 tenth wonder hammer has been uh, has been cracking. Um, I bought it off eBay, and it was reasonably cheap. Um, if I remember rightly, I think it was about fifteen quid um, plus a couple of quid for for postage. Um, because it's, it's just your basic hammock. It's not. Um, it's not, not not got bug netting or anything like that. So, anyway, I'm gonna get my boots on and uh, I'll catch up with you um, in a few minutes once I've packed my gear up. Hi guys, uh, I just thought I'd bring you on uh, on a bit of a walk back to uh, back to the car. Um, so you can see some of the some of the views that uh, I've seen on my way here. But, uh, never been here before. So uh, it's a bit new to me. Um, I had to use the map to follow the public footpaths here. Um, and now I'm just looking to find my way back to the to the footpath, and uh, and hopefully uh, get back to the car in one piece. So. Uh, Stick with me and uh, enjoy the enjoy the ride. I don't know whether you can tell or not. It's, uh, it's quite muddy down here. I've just come from over that way somewhere. Um, I'm not quite sure where. Over somewhere over that way. But, uh, let's keep going, following the footpath. I need to go down, down uh, over there somewhere. Where's my finger? There. Down over there somewhere. I think it is that uh, I actually came in. So stick with me, and we'll see, I'll show you some more sites shortly. Hi right, guys, I'm back. Well, I'm heading on the right direction because I've crossed crossed this little bit of a stream brook whatever you want to call it, um, when I came in. So I'm heading over that way somewhere. Um, not quite sure which way. Over there, over there I think I need to be now. But, uh, let's get moving. Hey, there you are. I thought I'd lost it for a minute. I really ought to get myself um, like a 
I don't know, little pistol grip thing to put me uh, to put me to put my camera on. Um, because I'm using my opposite hand, I'm using my left hand, um, and all the controls are kind of for the <laughs> for the right hand. So, but, uh, it's quite a nice place. This it's not very big, it's not very busy at the moment. But then it's what is it? Wednesday. So I suppose a lot of people are at work, like I should be. Oh, hello. Another branch of the of the stream. I don't know if you can see if I can if I've got that in shot or not. So uh, across this now, this is probably where I end up going tits up and falling in the stream. <sighs> Wait, made it. Right, go this way now. Back up the hill a little bit and uh, I should then know whether I'm on the right track. I use the map coming because um, I use some public footpaths um, and uh, never been up this way before. Uh, where I am now is called um, Stubbing Wood, I think it is. I've never been here before. Plenty of tracks through it. Uh, main roads down that way somewhere. Um, but yeah, it's quite a nice place. It's a little bit too far for me and Emily to come. Um, she doesn't like long walks. I tend to use Whitwell Wood for that. Take Emily up there, shoot a couple of videos, or a video or two. And then, because uh, it's only it's a 10 minute drive and you can park, literally park on the side of the road in a lay-by. And that place is absolutely massive. There's loads of loads of routes. So let's go up here to this gate. Didn't come in this gate last time. So one route in, one route out. Oh, no. That's it. Out of the woods now. So now I'm gonna just now I'm going this way. Now that's not showing up, okay. Hard to tell, I think the sun's a bit. That's better. Look at that. Huh, heading off down here now. So let's see if I can I don't know whether you'll be able to I'll be able to get this in view or not. Oh. There's a lovely countryside. I'll show you another one when I'm on uh, I'm on a hill. But now I'm wandering off down here and uh, I'll catch you. Okay guys, right. Um, I'm gonna uh, cut the filming here because I've only got a few minutes left on the disc um, and I can't be bothered to swap another one over. But there's that's the main road so I need to be going up there whether you can see it or not up there is where I'm going there so catch you on the next one guys and uh, thanks for watching um, I also want to say that uh, I'm absolutely astounded um, over the last three or four days in fact, no, not even that long. What are we on now? Wednesday. No, yes, probably three or four days. Um, I've jumped to, I think it's 28 subscribers. Um, and I've not brought the list with me again. <laughs> same old, same old. Um, but what I'll do is I'll, I'll run them up the, up the side of the screen, um, all the new ones. Thanks very much. I, I really do appreciate it. It's... Um, it's really good of you. Um, 
every last one, every last one of you that have uh, that have subscribed. Um, hopefully, I've thanked you all um, on your on your channel or on your your page. Um, if I haven't, I am going to get round to it. Um, like I say, it's, <laughs> I've, I've gone from something like I think it was about about 12 subscribers um, to 28 in the space of a week and I'm just flabbergasted so thanks for that guys really appreciate it anyway it's snow's coming down again now um, so I'm going to cut it cut it off here and uh, I'll catch you in the next one um, hopefully within the next couple of weeks so uh, I'm hoping that we'll I'll be able to get a night out um, up at Mount Pleasant again but uh, we'll just have to wait and see so thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you later cheers